Hi, this is Steve Gamash with a Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product video. We're looking at the Richmond Saab 52100 Carbon Steel Giotto 250mm. This knife is patterned after a 10 inch Sabatier uh, carbon steel blade. And um, it's a modern interpretation of that knife with a super robust heavy duty handle on it. The uh, core steel is 52100 carbon, which is a very good all around. Uh, carbon steel that's easy to sharpen has great characteristics. The heat treat rating is Rockwell 61 on this, and the construction is mono steel. So the entire blade is a single steel material, no cladding or layers. It's all reactive. Uh, this has the screened on Richmond logo. Let me swing this around so it's not upside down for you. And it says 52100 right here, so you know what kind of knife it is. The uh, weight on this knife is 7.6 ounces, 215 grams. The blade length is right about 10 inches, and the overall length is 14.6. The spine at the base is 2.7 millimeters on this knife. Get the camera to kick in here. There we go. So about 2.7, then it thins out a bit, and then pretty much holds that taper, and then does have a bit of a distal taper towards the tip. So it thins out nicely towards the tip, so it's got a... Uh, Decent performing tip on it for this type of knife. The blade height is generous at 53.5 on the heel. And the handle is uh, Mark's current artifacts lineup. It's the G10 scales. It's just about bulletproof. Um, this has a nice feel to it. It almost has a little bit of a wah feel the way the handle's set up. But very nice handle that complements the blade. And like I said, nearly indestructible handle. Um, this knife has a, uh, as he said, a Sabatier type profile so it's got a heavy flat spot uh, near the back and he does have the chin of the knife at, right at the heel there relieved a bit as he mentions on the product page and then you've got a fairly uh, steep curve or uh, it's not super steep but you've got more of an aggressive belly to the tip for rocking so very very long heavy flat spot with a little more aggressive belly towards the tip and this is not a super skinny mini knife so it's a little bit more robust at the edge, which uh, makes for a tougher blade. Uh, he's got a pretty aggressive edge on this out of the box. Uh, I give it a 6 out of 10. It's got a pretty decent edge on it out of the box with the bevels not being too skinny, so they're not going too... It's a little thicker blade, which is part of why the bevels are a little bit bigger, but uh, it's got a nice out-of-the-box edge on it that does have some bite to it. And uh, this is just a very good all-around performing knife. It doesn't blow through ingredients like a, a laser, but it's a good general purpose. Uh, I'll use the word workhorse. I know that means a lot to a lot of different people, but um, it's, it's a good performer in a professional setting. Uh, some of the people have commented uh, that they love this knife, that have gotten it and used it in a professional setting. So it's, it's a new interpretation of a great classic. So uh, this is also available in the AEBL flavor, identical knife, but with stainless. And we're going to shoot a video on that as well. So there you have the Richmond uh, Saab 52100 Steel Giotto 250 millimeter knife.